What you're about to see is a description and demonstration of pulse droop correction. This is a capability developed at Empower RF Systems and it's enabled by our very high speed embedded computing along with a high speed data race that we've designed into our newest generation of amplifiers. The significance of this capability is not to be overlooked. It improves radar detection in noisy environments. It extends radar effective range simplifies receiver algorithms yielding faster pulse uh, detection and all resulting in earlier target acquisition and identification. Hello, my name is Darren Miles. Today I'm here to talk to you about droop correction on our third generation RF amplifiers. Here we see the natural effect of the output of the third generation amplifier. Note the droop that is highlighted in red. The leading edge of the pulse has a greater amplitude than that of the falling edge. Now let's take a look at what causes this droop in solid state transistors. RF droop has multiple contributing factors. The primary and most dominant contributing factor for RF droop is the thermal response of the transistors used in each module. The transistors have a thermal response that reduces their output power uh, by upwards of half a dB to uh, one dB depending upon how much their temperature rises over time and throughout the pulse. When transistors are organized in serial fashion, that response of half a dB to one dB is compounded. The second contributing factor of RF droop is the voltage for each of the transistors, or what we have come to know as VDD. Capacitive energy is discharged during the pulse and it starts out at the leading edge and the capacitor naturally discharges as the pulse progresses to the falling edge. As the charge on the capacitors uh, reduces and the voltage across the, the capacitor reduces, the natural response of the transistor also reduces. These two factors can account for up to 2 dB loss in a power module. Let's take a look at one way in which we have accounted for or in have corrected that droop uh, in our third generation multi-stage solid state amplifiers. Here we see the natural RF output. Our third generation amplifiers have a special mode and a new feature uh, that allows us to correct the RF amplitude during the pulse with very little distortion. Here we see a natural correction in the red line. That red line represents the corrected value that we will add to the overall gain of the system to produce the resultant uh, flat pulse. As we experimentally find this value, the slope of this red line will start to approach the x-axis as you can see here. Our technicians will calibrate this pulse at maximum power to ensure that the pulse patterns from the user have minimal distortions of the amplifier and that the output of our amplifiers are indeed flat. This pattern and this algorithm repeats itself for upcoming pulses through the amplifier. In other words, the algorithm resets every time a pulse is ingressive to our amplifiers. As a final comparison, on the left we have the natural RF droop uh, that we took a look at in the beginning, and we have the uh, corrected output uh, on the right. We can see that the right is far flatter than uh, the left, and the output is consistent throughout the pulse. The impacts of our new RF droop correction algorithm uh, are quite substantial. Uh, first, we maintain uniform power throughout the pulse, which is a feature that many of our customers have asked for. Second, we have a reduction in the physical space requirements for each amplifier, meaning greater power density for each amplifier uh, and, and more power in the package. Third, it obsoletes or at least mitigates uh, the risks of bulk storage capacitors uh, inside uh, the modules. Um, we believe that uh, the RF droop correction algorithm will be a 
a feature that many of our customers are looking for, specifically those who are interested in uh, radar and EW uh, applications. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. <laughs>